Hey guys, Chachan here, and a quick warning that this video does have a little bit of blood in it. Not much, just a bit, so please be aware of that before I start watching. Okay, uh, another thing I want to do in this video before I start getting into stuff is give a quick shout out to Ren Doodles here on YouTube, because their videos are amazing and they deserve so many more subscribers. Just go and check out their videos and subscribe to them because they are amazing, their videos are amazing, just... Go and watch them, they're so good! <laughs> um, so links to Ren in the description, please go and check them out, they are so good! Okay, I should get into talking about this video. So, uh, I did not script this, this could end terribly, and I'll be honest, I have taken a few takes, because <laughs> I kept rambling and it did not sound good. Like, no way to edit it out. Okay, anyway. So, this character is called Mark Morfran, his surname could change, and he is for my fine art course in college. And that is what I want to talk about in this video. Doing cartoons in a fine art course. And I can't talk about this very much because I have only been there in college for like a month and a half right now. Um, so, yeah, I've only been there a few weeks. But, I have already seen the challenges of doing this, and heard some things, I don't know. Um, okay, I'll just start talking. So, uh, I really wanted to do this, as, this cartoon stuff as my project. And when I first went there, I thought I'd be able to look at just the style. And, well not just the style exactly, but also like with the messages and stuff and turns out I can look at cartoons but you can't just look at the aesthetics which I mean I wasn't just going to look at the aesthetics but um, that would have been the main part of it just looking at how things are stylized but you can't do that that would be too graphic designy <laughs> so I should have expected that in a fine art course uh, if you don't know, fine art looks at meanings rather than aesthetics, which I didn't fully realise until I got into the course. Um, I mean, it's not too late to change the course. I could still go and take graphics if I really wanted to, but uh, for me, it already feels too late, and I'm enjoying the fine art. It's, it's kind of my thing a bit. I don't know. But anyway, so... I think a lot of teachers, when they hear, I want to look at cartoons, they think, oh no, this child, child? I'm in college. <laughs> uh, this, this student is gonna be looking at aesthetics rather than meaning. So yeah, I just had to talk about them with it, and they were all for me looking at cartoons, but they said, you've got to keep it grounded in fine art which could be a bit of a challenge because I've got to look at fine artists that do the same kind of thing. Um, but what I've decided to look at is building characters and stuff like that, but my main focus is appearance versus reality. That's what I want to do with my characters. I've got three characters to work with. Um, I don't want to create more because this is just for my fine art project, so you know. Um, but they've act the teachers have actually said I can look at anime, and one teacher even gave me an artist to look at who drew something in anime style. <laughs> like, the, the piece of art she told me to look at was literally an anime character, which was really weird because from what I've heard from other artists who've gone to college and had teachers and stuff, uh, they've always said like, uh, can't look at anime because it's not art apparently <laughs> but a teacher has actually just given me a project to like project it was more like one page in my sketchbook to fill just th some information about this anime character <laughs> and I was like what <laughs> so yeah I think the problem that a lot of people are, might be having with trying to do anime and cartoons in college is that the teachers think or may assume that you're just looking at the aesthetics instead of looking at the meaning and that was my problem at first I had to tell them that yeah I'm gonna look at you know 
the meanings as well. Um, so yeah, sorry this has been so rambly. <laughs> um, another thing I want to say is, I might have already mentioned it, they were scared that it would look like a graphic design course because I was looking at kind of character designs as well and I had to design my own characters for this course. Um, so yeah, some of those pages do look like a graphic design course which isn't very good in a fine art course. Um, but I think what the teachers might not have thought of is that, I'm saying might because maybe they do, but I don't know, but maybe they're not thinking that a character design has a lot of meaning in it. Like, every single detail about that character means something about the character. Um, like, with this character, I designed him to look kind of edgy and, you know, kind of mean. Not mean, I don't know. He looks not the most friendly, but in reality he's, like, kind of a wuss. <laughs> um, but uh, his character, like, obviously, he gets braver throughout the story, and uh, I showed that his, like, I showed his true character through, like, those pin badges on his jacket. So one of them is a skull, which represents his outward appearance, and then the smaller one is a rabbit, which is, like, you know, cutesy, soft. So, yeah, that's my meanings in character design. Um, I should probably explain that in my sketchbook. Yeah, I need to go and do that. But anyway, so sorry this video was so rambly. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, links to all of my social media and Rain Doodles, the YouTube channel, in the description. Uh, go and check them out, they're so cool. Okay, um, hope you enjoyed it and bye!